In the method of undetermined coefficient, we use a trial solution to determine a particular solution of an inhomogeneous equation. But how do you find a suitable trial solution? In this video, we'll discuss this for most of the cases to get us started. Eventually, we will discover that we need to modify our method slightly to cover the more nasty cases. We will do so in a later video. For now, this video will give you a pretty good idea to get started. So we have a second order linear ODE, a y double plus b y prime plus c times y equals g of x, some right hand side depending on x. Now, how do you find a particular solution? This depends on your g of x. We do a few examples. Suppose your g of x equals e to the power 2x. Then, initial guess would be for your particular solution some constant a times e to the power 2x. What happens if you would plug this in into your differential equation? For that you need y prime and y double. So y prime also proportional to e to the power 2x and y double is also proportional to e to the power 2x. So if you would plug that in, you only end up with terms proportional to e to the power 2x, no new functions. So this is going to work, you have e to the power 2x is left and right and you could solve for a. Second example, a bit more involved, what happens if you would have cosine of x on the right hand side? Then the natural trial would be y particularly equals a times cosine x. But once you differentiate this, you will get also sine. And differentiating again, you get your cosine back, so that's okay. But you also will get terms as a sine of x. So your initial guess is not good enough. You need in your trial solution also sines. What happens now if you would try this one? a times cosine x plus b times sine x. If you differentiate, you have sines and cosines, which is the same. Differentiating again, you keep cosines and sines. So once you plug it in, you will have cosines and sines left and a right, so you're fine. So you see the game that you're playing. You look at the right hand side, that gives you a sort of starting guess, and then you differentiate that to, to look already ahead what will, is going to happen if you plug it into your differential equation, and also include those terms. So what would you do, for example, if you have x cubed? Now if you differentiate it, you get terms with x squared and x, so your guess would be ax cubed plus bx squared plus c times x as a particular solution. And this almost works. However, if you differentiate, you will get uh, uh, squares and linear terms, but also a constant, so, which you are still lacking in your particular solution. So then you think, okay, what I have to use instead is ax cubed plus bx squared plus c times x plus d plus a constant. And this is going to work because if you differentiate once and twice, you keep terms of the same form. So this is a particular solution which is going to work. Now what happens if you have this one, if g of x equals the tangent of x? What if you would try something with a times tangent of x? Well, if you differentiate, you get 1 over cosine squared of x. So, okay, let's try to include that part in the particular solution. But if you then differentiate this one, you get also minus b sine x over cosine cubed x. It becomes worse and worse. So in this case, the method of undetermined coefficient is, is not going to help you. In this case, uh, you will have to use another method. For example, you can use variation of parameters. So either the method of undetermined coefficients works, and then it works really nice and really fast and really well. And if your right hand side is just too nasty, like in this case, then you have to resort to a different method.